A circular loaf of sourdough bread that is elliptical in cross-section is called a bully ball. What is bull bread? Bull bread history goes back much further than batard history, and it's possibly one of the most popular of all bread shapes. The word bull literally means ball in French. One look at this big, round loaf and it's not hard to see how it got its name. Bull, from French, meaning ball, is a traditional shape of French bread resembling a squashed ball. A boule can be made using any type of flour and can be leavened with commercial yeast, chemical leavening, or even wild yeast sourdough. The name of this rustic loaf shape is the reason the French call bread bakers bowlingers and bread bakeries bowlingeries. I know what you're all thinking, bread making is intimidating. I'm here to tell you this recipe makes it easy. Don't be alarmed by the many steps in the instructions, it is a simple process to follow. If you're new to bread making or simply want a delicious French bull bread, this recipe is for you. The crust is golden and crunchy with a soft fluffy inside. The perfect appetizer or pairing with an entree. You can simply spread some butter on top for a balanced bite or even dip this in some soup to absorb flavors. Fun fact, the traditional shape of French bread is the boule, which means ball in French. The bread baker is called the boulanger and the bakery is called the boulangerie. Therefore, if you'd like to call yourself a boulanger, give this recipe a try. Ingredients to 1 quarter teaspoon active dry yeast, typically 1 packet. 1 teaspoon white sugar, 1 and a quarter cup lukewarm water. 1 1 point to teaspoon kosher salt, 360 grams flour, about 3 cups. Mix the dough and first rise. Combine yeast, sugar, and lukewarm water in a large bowl. Ensure the water is not too hot. It should not hurt to touch. Just be mildly warm. If the water is too hot, it will kill the yeast and your dough will not rise. Let the yeast proof for about 5 minutes until the mixture is foamy. Add in kosher salt and flour. Using a food scale, measure 360 grams of flour, which is approximately 3 cups. Hand mix the dough until all of the flour is incorporated and dough has just started to pull away from the sides of the bowl. At this point in the process, the dough should be pretty sticky. Flour the top of the dough, do not mix in, this is just so it doesn't stick. Flip the bowl upside down and flour the other side of the dough. Cover with a towel and let rise in a warm place for about an hour. The dough should nearly double in size. Ideal rise temperatures are between 80F, 90F. Higher temperatures will kill the yeast, lower temperatures will take longer to rise the dough. A little trick if you can't find an environment to rise your dough, boil water. Place the boiled water in a shallow baking dish at the bottom of your oven, do not turn your oven on, and place the covered dough on the higher rack in the oven. This will create a warm steamy environment to allow the dough to properly rise.